Freedmen, old England. That's ridiculous. What do you mean? Well, the English aren't brave, Jackie. No, I once beat up six Englishmen in the Stop bar in Canada and knocked eat, them huh? all out. Really? <laughs> Why? Other well, accents just just gets on a fella's nerves, you know. <laughs> I'll tell you something strange that isn't in that book of yours. Do you know the English had talking horses? <laughs> You're kidding me. I never lie, Jackie boy. I met them talking horses in Canada. Brian was his name. <laughs> it's just one problem, though. What? Yeah. Horses is boring as hell. <laughs> Worse than Englishmen. <laughs> 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 it's true. Shut up. Old man? Hello. Hard at work, I see. I can't rest a moment without being disturbed. <sighs> no wonder I'm tired. Rest then. But I expect hard work after. Well, we burned the breeze long enough, I reckon. Why, hey, sir. What's that you're reading? I know it's a book. You know what? Fine. If you don't mind, sir. There you go. Haven't had... Hmm. Hey, sweetheart. Hello. Uh, can you believe this? I'm starting to. All ours, Abigail. Okay, John. This food's good, isn't it? How you doing? Would you like me to read a passage to you, Mama? What is it? It's from one of them books. It's, it's about cowboys. Cowboys? Well, not real ones, like, like gunslingers. It's real silly. No, I think I had enough of silly idiots who think they're gunslingers. My whole life I've been surrounded by idiots who thought they were living in a book. Only it ain't that way. No, 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 I, I, I guess it ain't. Just listen to this, all right? Frank Heck. Frank Heck, look at the sheriff cold. Clearly, you don't know who I am, he snarled. And before the sheriff could blink, the fastest young man west of the Grizzlies had filled him full of cold lead. The town was free once more. <laughs> who writes that nonsense? Go bed, son. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Is 
Is it good for him having his head filled with stories? You ain't got one story in your head, and look how you turned out. Yeah. Wait. Huh? Good night, Abigail. Good night, you. Morning. Morning, sir. Jack, my boy. You know, Pa, I wish I'd met your Pa. Trust me, you ain't missed much. I'm older than you was when he died, right? Yeah. Don't worry. I ain't going nowhere. Being a father ain't easy, son. You'll see that one day. I never said it was, sir. I didn't mean you, you know. I... <laughs> Don't worry. All this work and we're barely putting enough food on the table. Hope we can make it, John. It's early days. We're all still learning, especially me. We'll get there. No one said this life would be easy. I want to survive is all. We will. Uh, if I could only get one of these to pull beer, I'd be a millionaire. <laughs> You'd be flat on your back halfway to market. Yep. Yeah. Better just keep her for myself. I'll find a nice little cabin with a view. Just me and my beer cow. Living out our days. <laughs> I do not need to know where this fantasy ends. My fault. And that dog, huh? You should play with us, Pa. I got work to do. and take shape. Yeah. You've come a long way from sleeping in a tent surrounded by thugs and fools. <laughs> now I sleep in a house surrounded by thugs and actual sheep. <laughs> Guess it's progress. John! John! What? Well, this is kind of embarrassing, but I need a few things for a home remedy. A few things like what? Oh, just some whiskey, 
peppermint, uh, milkweed, uh, some hair grease, and uh, oh, some skunk meat. What? What have you been up to? Oh, it's a long story. My body really hurts. Yeah, if you're out and about and come across any of these things, well, I'd appreciate it. I'll see what I can do. <sighs> Thanks, John. Okay, well, I'll leave you to it, then. Okay, take care. Hey, little guy. Oh, hi. Hey. Oh, hey. I missed you, boy. How you like it? That's good. We'll be happy here. Okay, then. starts with a good woman. Exactly. It all starts with a good woman. John Marston is the luckiest man alive. Arthur told me that a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, old man, you he made me cry. <laughs> John Marston, you are the luckiest son of a <coughs> ever lived. You're getting mighty sentimental, old man. You about to die? Me? <laughs> Never. Hi. You okay? Yeah, it's just what he said. He was right, you know. Good. Well, you take care now. All right. Ruff, ruff. child to look after. Well, you weren't doing so well with him, so God gave you a second chance. <laughs> Two children now. All right, John. I'm coming to bed. Yeah. <sighs> How's your day? Fine. You can keep out of trouble. <laughs> Always. Another day on this earth, eh? Good morning. This all to your liking, then? The ranch? No, of course not. It's a dump. Right at the moment, at least. I'll keep working, then. If only to please you. I'll let you get on with it, John. Morning to you. Morning. Sweeping up, are you? That won't mass. What would we do without you? Yep. All right. John Marston. Miss Tilly. That's Mrs. Tilly to you. <laughs> How are you? I'm okay. How are you? Congratulations. Thank you. I'm well, well and happy, and I miss you and Abigail. She's well, Jack's well. All is well, I think. I, I never thanked you for what you did. Oh, there's the trolley. I still think about all of you all the time. My life, it's different now. Mine too, but... I still see a bunch of Charles and Uncle and Sadie, 
So, not quite so different as Abigail would like. I married a lawyer. He's a fine man. We live in a house. Us too. I'm sorry. I've got to go. I'm late. But can I write to you and Abigail someplace? Yeah, we're up at Beecher's Hope, over in Great Plains, West Elizabeth. I'll try. Be well, John Marston. John Marson, since you bought this millstone around our necks, we'd better try and keep this place going. I paid our debts with that money. I, uh... I don't want to talk about that money. And no more that... It's over, Abigail. I'm sure. Then get to work on this ranch you own and raising your boy. Yes, ma'am. Are you being sarcastic, John Marston? Me? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Good. Anyway, I thought you liked this place. No, John, I don't like it. Oh. I love it. It's home. This has been Beecher's Ranch, episode one. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. A uh, big thank you to all my subscribers. You're beautiful. I love you. And as always, be safe, be kind, and stay humble. This has been Kel. Peace.